Hey guys, today I'm making a video for a guy on the Airsoft forum. Um, this is going to be a disassembly, or I mean complete reassembly, of a VSR-10 or JG Bar-10 pop-up assembly. Um, now this is from all parts, just um, laying around. Um, he asked, uh, he's asking around for someone to do this, so, you know, I have these parts laying around, so I might as well just make a video for him. Got a plus one subscriber. Anyways, okay, so you're going to locate your pieces. Um, there's going to be four screws, four long screws that go into each of these four holes in the actual two parts of the chamber itself. Um, I only have one of these screws right now because this is one of my uh, spares laying around. Sorry for that shadow lingering over me. Um, so I'm going to try to make this as clear as possible. Uh, let me see if I can move over a little bit. Okay. Um, so first thing is first, um, you're going to want to take this half of the hop of assembly that has the uh, the groove in it right here take this and take half your adjusting arm and stick this, uh, see how this sticks out put it inside of that groove and just slide this on here now you're gonna find a small screw kinda like this one it might be silver um, or it might be black Take your Phillips head screwdriver, or whatever head it might be, and screw it in right here. So I'll give you a good view of that. See that's screwed on, this, this doesn't come off. And then your hop-up can be adjusted like this. See that? It might be a little loose, um, depending on the screw you use. This is just parts laying around. So um, you get a screw in there, this doesn't come off. All right, I'm trying to zoom in even more. Okay, next, um, I haven't done this in a while, but I still remember it. Um, this piece, this black plastic piece, important piece, this is your feeding feeding ramp. The BB will, uh, well, this is a weird angle to show it from. Basically, in your, going into your hop system, um, your nozzle will load the BB up this ramp and then into the hop-up um, bucking. So this is an important piece. Now there's a small spring and then there's a little hole inside that piece. You're going to combine those two and you know it might not want to stay together on you but you know you can just you can get it. Maybe a dab of glue would help but okay. Now I find that um, Alright, I forgot to mention this. You can put on your hop of arm right now. This is your hop of arm. Um, as you can see, there's the there's the nub right there on this side. Here's the nub. Um, just place it down like this. There's a little uh, a, a little whatever they call that indent on that side where uh, this part of the hop of unit will combine with that. Okay, so lay that down. Now this this is the hardest part of putting the whole thing together. And I really wish I had some better light because sh the shadow keeps covering this. But this will have to do. You're going to combine the spring part. Um, take this half of the hop of unit because this half has a deeper well right here. Um, and with with this uh, with this nub part of this, uh, frick. One second. And with this nub part, you're going to want it facing outward. And by outward, I mean outward, like so. It's going to be like that. Um, so you put that spring in that little hole I was talking about. And you... Shove that in there. Huh, the spring is being pain in the asshole. Okay, so that should just clip in. See, the spring is right there, and the feeder is right there. I think you got a decent view of that. Okay, here comes a one of the harder parts. Okay, you're going to take your bucking. Here's just a standard bucking. Here, I'll just let that spring fall out for now. 
All right, your standard bucking, and here's a standard VSR cut barrel. Um, you know, you, you put your bucking on. I hope you know how to put on your bucking. If not, basically you, you look down into it, and you press down on one of the soft sides, and where you see the nub, you want the you want it to be uh, inside of this uh, this uh, hop up opening or the the barrel opening, barrel window, and you slip it over. See see this part is pointing outward, and there's more space this way. This part's actually a softer part, and you just uh, put it on your barrel. There should also be grooves on your barrel to line up with um, some grooves in your hop up bucking. Um, so you just slide this on. This is a broken Firefly soft type hop of bucking. It's kind of crappy. I broke it when I was trying to install it one time. So yeah, you should, you'll, you'll feel it. Up oh, the phone's ringing. Just ignore that for now. Um, so once you've got that on, you are going to find this half of the hop of uh, chamber. And I hope you can see this. This is a groove to where the groove on your, uh, or the protrusion on your hopper bucking will fit, will sit inside. So you're going to just place it like this. You want to, uh, pull this adjustment out because it will get in the way. Um, you're going to just sit it inside like that. It should sit pretty decently. Now, um, at this point, you can put on this half of your uh, hop up adjuster. Um, there will be another screw, and you can screw these two together. For now, I'll just I need to find a screw really quickly. Let's hope this screw works. Um, there should be a screw hole on the other side. It actually doesn't really matter which screw hole you choose. I'm going to choose this one. And you just screw this together. Okay, so basically you have your hop up adjuster on. And your, you can still rotate your barrel and stuff with that. And then put your hop up bucking in. So you have this like this. I hope you got a good view of everything. Let me focus on that. Okay, so right here is your is your uh, uh, your, your your nub, your hop of arm. Right, this this component is your hop of arm. This is your hop of adjuster. We just assembled that over the barrel. And your barrel and bucking are going to be in the hop of chamber at this point in the process. Uh, as you can tell, this isn't really cooperating with me so well. Because I have it like floating in the air. All right, just make sure you've got that whole uh, configuration done. All right, with that, with that down, you're going to. I'm sure there's an easier way to do this, but okay, here we're going to set this piece inside of here, right here. You see that? The nub is this way, and then we're going to take our top. I'm just going to do it without that because it's ten times easier to do it without a camera tripod in the way. Um, you're going to want to get that spring in there. So first, I'm just going to assemble it like this. And I'll leave the rest to you, I guess. I hope this is a good enough video. I mean, from scratch, I hope you, you at least know how to assemble the hop-up unit itself now. Minus the me trying to put in that spring. 
So basically with it like this, the hopper unit itself is assembled. Um, the adjuster arm won't be assembled until you uh, put back together the gun and slide this in the barrel and put it on the block and everything. But this is the assembly of the hop-up unit. Um, if you had it in many, many pieces. Um, I hope this was sufficient enough. I couldn't get this spring in. This spring is a pain in the ass. Um, your spring might be different. It might stay there better. I'm, sh I'm sure this isn't even the spring that should be there. This might even be the mag catch spring. So just, uh, if you have the right spring, it'll be ten times easier. So yeah. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Um, well obviously when you have this together, there's screw hole, one, two, um, right there, and then, uh, yeah, basically just two screw holes. I thought there were four. I guess there's just two. You want to screw these two in, and then your JG Bar 10 or VSR 10 half of unit is reassembled. And thanks for watching, and stay subscribed, and everyone else watching, subscribe, comment, like, you know. See you guys.